It's no surprise that another important historical find has been made in Israel. And this time it reveals a ton about Israel's glass production in the ancient world. The oldest glass kilns in Israel have been found near Mount Carmel, and they date all the way back to the late Roman period. The kilns are estimated to be 1,600 years old, and they show that the region was a major glass producer in the ancient world. Archaeologists are saying the glass kilns are a really important discovery because they reveal a lot of Israel's commercial past. The Valley of Akko is known for its high-quality sand, and it turns out that sand was likely used to manufacture glass. We are excavating a raw glass production site. We discover here the remains of furnaces for the production of glass from its raw ingredients, sand and natron, the soda natron, which was brought from Egypt. The sand was taken from the Akko Bay. It's the best sand for the production of glass. We have the fuel from the Carmel Mountain and from this area. Yael Gorin Rosen is the head curator for the Israel Antiquities Authority Glass Department. And she says the find solves a lot of questions that archaeologists have been pondering for years. It turns out glass from the region has been found in shipwrecks in the Mediterranean and at sites in Europe for years. But it was never known where the glass came from. This finding shows that the raw material to produce the glassware was made in Israel, and it was shipped all over the Roman Empire. Here we're standing in one of the glass-making centers of the ancient world. We know now that these were probably supplying glass around the world in the uh, 4th century AD or thereabouts. And this work is really important for us to understand the distribution and the occurrence of glass all over the ancient world because it was being exported everywhere. And that's not all. It turns out the glass made in Israel was so well known that the Roman Empire Diocolation made a price regulation in the 4th century that referred to Judean glass from the Lamb of Israel, which was a light green color and less expensive than Egyptian glass. Until now, no one knew where the glass production centers were. But it looks like this is one historical mystery that has finally been solved. And for those who want to see the glass, it will be displayed in a few months at the Carmel Zvolun Regional High School. It's fantastic. I've waited 20 years to see it. Since the excavations of Beta Liesa of the later furnaces, I've been waiting to see where the Romans made that glass.